Hi class, welcome to my presentation. Uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, medical medical prescriptions. And the important notes we are going to cover three bullets. One, we are going to define what is medical prescriptions. And later on we shall discuss about uh, list parts of medical prescription we shall see what are the parts which come which which are found in a medical prescription or which are consist in medical prescriptions and also we shall identify features of different parts of medical prescription we have different features in different parts we shall we shall identify on the part of prescriber on the part of dispenser we shall discover all those features. Uh, kwenye somo letu ila leo, ndugu zangu wanafunzi tutajifunza nini maana prescription. Na baada kufa medical prescription ni nini, utafahamu sehemu zinazo unda medical prescription. Na mwisho tutafahamu sifa zipi zinapatikana ambazo zinatofautiana kwenye medical prescription. Kuna sehemu ya prescriber ambao ni wale wanaoandika dawa au pia kuna sehemu ya mtoaji wa dawa uh, from the definitions what is medical prescription medical prescription a legal written order from a qualified prescriber to a qualified dispenser which contain instructions to dispense or compound and administer specified medicines to a, to a clear patient patient maana yake ni nini ni kwamba ni maelekezo yanayoandikwa na mtu aliyefuzu taaluma usika qualified prescriber qualified prescriber tutaona baadaye ambao ni assistant clinical officer ambao ni ACO kuna clinical officer ambao ambao ni CO na pia tutakuwa na assistant medical officer ambao ni AMO na mwisho tutakuwa na mtu anaitwa medical doctor ambao ni MD au ndio qualified prescriber to qualified dispenser who are those qualified dispenser a uh, pharmacist pharmaceutical technicians pharmaceutical assistant and dispenser those are qualified dispenser which contain instruction what is instructions these are instructions written in a legal document which is prescriptions to dispense or compound so such prescriptions can co contains the instruction for dispensing or to compound such medicines and later no, we need to administer to a specified med medicine to a clearly measured patient therefore tutahitaji kutoa dawa hii ambayo imeandikwa kwa mgonjwa usika na dawa usika ili uweze kubainishwa kulingana na prescription maana nyingine ni nini prescription prescription na maana hii it is an order for medication used by a physician dentist or other properly licensed medical practitioner nimesha wataja uh -huh. and later on maana yake ni kwamba kwamba hii ni order ni order ambayo ina ana inaandikwa na physician ambao ndio hao ndio wasema au anaweza kuwa dentist au other properly licensed medical practitioner au mtu aliyeruhusiwa na maana yake nyingine pia prescription design designed specific medications and dosage to be prepared by the person who prepare such medicine is or are pharmacist pharmaceutical technician and administered to a particular patient a medical prescription can be printed or written in ink e prescription to me ni legal document ambayo inakuwa written na wao medical prescriber or dentist our property person ambayo kwa licensed inaweza kawa printed au imeandikwa kwa wino kwa inakuwa ni halali endapo utakutana na aina hizo mbili 
na nyingi zipo maana nowadays facility nyingi hazina printed prescriptions and most of them they are just write in a piece of paper but they are supposed to have a seal ambayo ni muhuri wa institution husika category ya medical prescriptions kuna aina mbili za category ya medical prescription kuna ile ambayo prefabricated products na ile ambayo ambayo inakuwa nani prefabricated product kwa maana ya kwamba prefabricated product ni zile dawa ambazo zimekwishaandaliwa tayari kwa ajili ya matumizi mfano ciprofloxacin amoxicin azithromycin paracetamol cetizin propranolol atenolol na dawa nyingine nyingi ambazo zinaweza kusema Uh, zile ambazo hazijawa uh, prefabricated ni mfano ni zile dawa ambazo zinapewa maelekezo ya kwenda kutengeneza compounding mfano inaweza kuwa ni flusamide injection no flusamide syrup we don't have available flusamide syrup we need to compound in a compounding room we don't have spinolactone syrup therefore we need to compound in a compounding room also we don't have Mm, metformin syrup glibenkamide syrup we don't have uh, aldrazin syrup we don't have many 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 there are many drugs which are not are not yet formulated therefore they are supposed to be formulated in a compounding room Therefore those written for single components yani maana yake ni kwamba nzi dawa ambazo zimeandikwa kwa component moja ambayo imetengenezwa kwa ajili ya matumizi ya mgonjwa na nimeweza kutaja mfano wake ni kwamba kama moxicillin azithromycin ciprofloxacin na dawa nyingine nyingi ambazo mfano wa hizo uh, nyingine pia ni aina nyingine ya pili ni zile ambazo tunaweza kuzitaja kwamba those written for more than a single component and requiring compounding e.g. flosamide syrup spinolactone syrup aya hii ndio prescription yetu kama inavyoonekana pale kwanza kuna jina la taasisi ambao inaonyesha pale ni Ministry of Health and Social Welfare prescription form ambayo ina sio namba hii hapo ina jina la facility husika prescription ya ni ya ni ya serikali. Kwa hiyo mara nyingi zinakuwa na mfumo huo kama unavyoonekana. Lakini pia kulikuwa na kodi ya health facilities ina kodi namba ngapi? Pia lazima nchi health facilities zinapatikana katika wilaya gani au castle ipi? Almashauri ipi? Lakini pia sababu nayo lazima pia hii prescription kuna same tumeona au ya kwanza ni same ya institution address. Same ya pili ni patient information. Patient information zinakuwa na jina, address yake lakini sababu kuwa na jina hali lazima tujue mgonjwa huyu ana jinsia ipi ni me au ni k maana yake ni female au male lakini pia sababu anayo anapaswa tujue age umri wake ni upi ni ya mwaka sufuri, tisa, nane, tisini, mia na kuendelea lakini sababu pia katika taarifa za, za mgonjwa lazima tujue pia uzito wake ni kiasi gani maana dawa muda mwingine inaendana na uzito wa mgonjwa alionao ah sehemu ya pili ingia inakutana kwa prescriber tumeshaona pati mbili ya kwanza ni institution address tumekuja patient sasa tunakuja kwenye prescriber information ambazo prescriber information lazima pia kuna kuwa na na kitu kinaitwa type of subscriber kadi namba ni ipi treatment ambayo imeandikwa hapo ikibainisha kiasi gani cha cha dawa kinahitajika unit price kwa maana kwa kila item ni shilingi ngapi na jumla ki jumla gharama inao inao galimu dawa hizo au kifaa hicho ambacho kimebainishwa na prescriber. Mwisho kabisa tunakuja tunakutana na prescriber no tunakutana na dispenser information. Dispenser information ataandika jina lake, signature pamoja na tarehe ya dawa iliyotoka. Lakini sababu pia na prescriber wetu lazima pia andike jina signature pamoja na tarehe ya dawa iliyotoka Same za medical prescription ni zipi? Moja kabisa mimi sizitaja hapo awali ya kwamba kuna name of the name of the institutions or its facilities kuna prescriber information and signature kuna patient information 
kuna date of prescription was written lazima hiyo ina tarehe ambayo imeandikwa lazima hiyo ina taarifa za mgonjwa zote kama nilivyozitaja hapo awali lazima kuwa na maelekezo ya dawa, dawa hii yanatumikaje ili informasia aweze kuiandaa kulingana na maelekezo yaliyoandikwa na prescriber lakini pia lazima iwe na inscription au medical prescribe medical prescribe kwamba ameandika nani kwa maana nyingine title au cheo au qualification alicho nacho huyu aliyoandika hiyo dawa lakini pia lazima kuwe na maelekezo kwa mtengenezaji au mtuaji wa dawa ambao ni medical na kuna mtu pharmaceutical personnel ambao hiki pengine tunaita subscriptions na mwisho kabisa kuna kuwa na transcriptions ambayo inakuwa na signature direction to the patient maelekezo kwa 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 mgonjwa au mtumiaji kama inavyoonekana hivyo ndio tunaona pale juu kabisa kuna prescribe information ambayo lazima kutakuwa na details zake hizo patient information tutaziona hapo inscription ona maelekezo ya dawa superscription hayo subscription na kwamba tatumiaje eh special instructions maelekezo usika kushika na dawa aliyopewa kama ni ya kuinsert au ni ya kuswala au ni ya kuchu au ya kuinstill na mtegemea lazima atatoa directions naonyesha hapo na signature na cheo the following are features of different parts of a medical prescription name of institution has facilities ambayo inakuwa na full address of the institution sambamba pia kuna kwa anaita prescriber informations and signature ambayo inakuwa na name address and signature of the prescriber together with the professional qualification ambayo inaweza kawa ni assistant clinical officer au clinical officer uh, assistant medical officer ambayo ni amo medical doctor or dentist surgeons na kuendelea ambayo inakuwa written and signed in indelible or permanent ink indelible ni maana kwamba hiyo ni yeye anasomeka lakini ni ni inakuwa na kalamu ambayo ina wino ambao unakuwa ni permanent sambamba na hilo pia kuna patient information patient information which include patient full name kama nilivyoeleza awali kwa maana majina yote mawili au matatu address mgonjwa anapatikana wapi ametibiwa katika hospitali ipi ambayo ni hospital registration number kwa maana nyingine atakuwa na usajili wa mahala anapotibiwa atakuwa anabainisha jinsia either ni male or female age and the body weight of the patient kama nilivyoelekeza pale wakati tunaona part of prescriptions kingine kuna kuwa na date of prescription was written tarehe ya prescription imeandikwa lini date prescription was written showing a day month and year ni lazima uonyeshe siku mwezi pamoja na mwaka hii lengo ni kuweza kubainisha kwamba prescription ni ya lini na ya mwezi gani ya mwaka gani ili si confuse katika kufanya follow up ya matibabu ya mgonjwa wetu. Hivi ni tarehe, mwezi na mwaka. Endapo hata mgonjwa anakuwa amezulika hata kama amefariki, basi tutajua dawa hizi zitolewa wapi na mwezi gani na mwaka gani na nani aliyoitoa, itakuwa ni rahisi kuweza kufanya follow up ile ya usahihi zaidi. Sambamba na hiyo pia kuna sehemu part ya prescription pia inaitwa superscription ambayo inakuwa na RX symbol ambayo consist of of the heading where the symbols are like uh, abbreviation for the sip the routine for meaning take although is found the alex symbols comes before the inscription mm. inscription na maana gani inscription is also called the body of the prescriptions hii inatoa nini na provide the names and the quantities of the chief ingredients of the prescription to be dispensed lakini pia kwenye scripture kuna kitu ifuatayo kunaonyesha dozi or strengths and dosage form such as tablet suspension cups syrup or syrup is found kwa aina gani ya dosage form mgonjwa wetu anaenda kutumia lakini pia kionyesha kiwako sambamba na hilo pia kuna part nyingine inaitwa subscription ambayo ina dispensing instruction to be pharmaceutical personnel. Hii subscription inaonyesha ni ni namna gani pharmaceutical personnel ataitoa dawa hii kwa mgonjwa wetu. This gives a specific direction for a pharmaceutical personnel on how to compound the medications and this direction to be pharmaceutical personnel are usually expressed in Latin or may consist of short 
settings such as make a solution, mix and press into 10 caps or the space 10 tabs. Mara nyingi eneo hili la superscription no subscription inakuwa lime complice abbreviation ambayo ni latini ambazo anakuwa na vifahamu huyu pharmaceutical personnel ambaye tumeweza kumbainisha ni toa pharmacist pharmaceutical technician assistant pamoja na dispenser lazima ile lugha hiyo ajue ni nini kinaitolewa ni kiasi gani ni kwa muda gani pia Ah kingine kinaitwa transcription this give instruction to the patient transcription transcription ni maelezo ambayo anapewa mgonjwa ya matumizi ya dawa on how to take the drugs route by which the drug is being administered ni njia ipi ambayo dawa atatumia kwa muda wake wote huo wa ma, wa matumizi this instruction are pre preceded by the symbols s sg SIG from the Latin meaning mic mark or rebel also may contain special such and warning considered important for a patient Kama inavyoonekana hapo ndio yale ambayo tulikuwa tunayasoma na kuweza kuyabainisha ni yapi ambayo yanahusika hiyo ni mfano prescription ambayo tunaitumia kwenye hizi facilities zetu au mahala popote pale wanaweza kuchukua mfano wa prescription hii na wao kutengeneza ya kwao lakini kana muundo huu kama ilivyo bainishwa kwenye picha inayoonekana hapo. Sante. Thank you for watching.